I work from home, but then people don't realize like when you're driving, you know, you're out talking to someone and then yeah. you don't realize 15 minutes, you're starting to get That's burned. what I was telling them the other yeah. day, there's no direct sunlight at all. Yeah, yeah. Even in the car, I'll have like the visor and I'll put yeah, yeah, Even something. on the way over here, I was like, no, nope, okay, yeah, yeah. Like it yeah. Especially here. So like I'll put that on and then I'll spray sunblock. Right. Mm -hmm. But that's a good idea. I think so I have two of my clients today, Richard and Albert. They both got some major projects done by me. I invited them here so they can explain the way they took care of their tattoo, their experience, what happened the next day. I mean, it completely healed yeah. within two weeks. What about the peeling? Was it peeling like a whole bunch? It was smooth, but a bunch coming off at a time. Yeah. And then the leg mm -hmm. was like 10 and a half hours. We that started at 11.30, almost an hour, 12, yeah. and we finished at 11 p.m. 11, yeah. I think by 9 p.m. you were already in pain. Yeah. Really close on tapping out. I was already invested. My pain on that one, my leg hurt for the next couple of days, mm -hmm. but my leg was swollen. I was looking down and I'm like, is that supposed to be normal? Because I couldn't see my ankles. Oh, oh, so I was like, what the hell's on my foot? <laughs> and the peeling on this one was money. Thin, like clear. It was just came off on like one smooth layer. It was crazy. Yeah. So your chest, it's been what, a month now? About, about a month? Probably about a month. Yeah. yeah, this is your fourth week, for yep. sure. And then the outer leg sleeve is uh, three. It's about three weeks. Like three and a half weeks. Three and a half weeks. Yeah, because we did them in like three weeks. <laughs> yeah. So, as in for you, I, I ended up doing a huge ass tribal cobra. So, we ended up doing two different sessions on this outer sleeve. The first one was the cover up, and the second was the bottom. Up. I had to wait until this was fully healed, so in order for me to go back in. So, uh, how was the healing process for you? Uh, it was really, really smooth. Uh, I've been lucky that all the tattoo artists I've had have been amazing. No complaints or anything abnormal from the healing process. Doing the things that you know your artist is recommending is really important. Um, definitely moisturizing. But then also not over moisturizing. Yeah. But I made mistakes myself. Well, I know I over yeah. moisturize yeah. like crap. How about Maybe. the first night when after we did that tribal cover up? Uh, it was really good. So it wasn't really too bad at all. I mean, uh, I took care of it that same night. You know, did everything I normally do when it comes to aftercare in that mm -hmm. first day. I have other tattoos as well, yeah. so I can tell what days I'm really yeah. in based yeah. on the feeling. And then by the 13th, 14th day, like, it was completely healed. Yeah. So, <laughs> you guys are going to be reacting to some comments yeah. of your tattoo. Because <laughs> I saw some really good comments. All right. So, I'm going to start with you. Right. The first comment is for the chest piece. And somebody said, the guy getting tattooed looks like Matt Biddle. Matt Biddle? George? George. 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 How many hours do you think? What is it? Was it six? The tribal was 
five to six hours. Yeah. Then the other piece, that one was like four. Yeah, that, that was like quick. Four. That was quick. Mm -hmm. So I had, it was two sessions and it was three weeks apart. Yeah. Right? Why do people on here always cover their tribal tattoos? Why, why did you get it covered up? <laughs> I was wondering if that was the question. I was like, nah, that's not <laughs> what um, He's young and dumb. You know, you look at fads and, and, every, and everything. Yeah. Especially yeah. when you're young and you ride with it. But, yeah. you know, as you get older, you really start to look at things and, and the meaning, especially something so important that's placed in your body permanent. Mm -hmm. So, sure. so grateful to have this on me. Uh, thank, thank you. For, for Kevin, but yeah, it really means a lot to me that I can have my culture on me and I can share that, you know, with my family and my future family at some point, mm -hmm. so. Well, my chest piece, it was like this heart triangle yeah. that I got. And like you said, it was a fad and the way that it was in there just wasn't, mm -hmm. it wasn't done good. I put the, you know, the Aztec in the lower end because she mm -hmm. my heart. It's just mm -hmm. something to share with people, you know what I mean? Yep. That's more important than that little fad of the tribal and all that bullshit. Yeah. The outer, in one city, what a channel. Shit. Yeah. Jeez, bro. And if you guys could be in that room. <laughs> the sun was up, and then the sun went down, and then when I left, I felt like I slept for two hours and the sun came up again. And not to mention, like, the pain, just even waking up with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And cool. it didn't hurt because it, you tattooed, it was more or less a position. I had to stay in one position. I don't think people realize the toll a tattoo, especially a large scale like that one, yeah. takes on your body. So sure, sure, yeah. Like, you'll be drained after yeah. it, it'll obviously be painful, yeah. and you feel like you've been doing some strenuous exercise for a while. When you really only been sitting there, but yeah. sitting there in that position, mm -hmm. it's a it's a job to be mm -hmm. able to sit there. How was it for you, especially after 10 hours? Bro, I was tired as hell. I got, I got home, my back hurts. I went for, it, was, it was a Wednesday, huh? Okay. Tuesday. Tuesday. I didn't work the next day. Uh, I, I think I had a last minute cancellation. I was happy as hell. <laughs> it was insane. Like, I was tired. Um, any final thoughts? Very grateful, like I said before. And I'm excited to finish the inside for That's sure. Oh, man. Thank you for your work. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your, your ideas. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you put this on the first video, but I didn't even know what this was. He said, you want some work done? I said, I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's go. Gave me a date. I came in. But I'm grateful because I trust your artist. You know? So, you know, just going off of the work I've seen him do on other people, you find an artist you can trust, you can stay with that person. And I can't wait for the inside of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you guys for coming in. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to finish your piece. But... This was a sick ass video, I like it. <laughs> Thank you guys. I was like, is that a... I thought about, oh, what if they asked me something like that? And when you started saying it about the tribal, like, why would you get out? I was like, oh shit, it is that question. <laughs> but that's true though, like, when you say it, like, it was right on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that's you know, facts, like, everybody goes through a trend, you know what I mean? You want me to turn it up?